people have married for the wrong reason sometimes that's why i've addressed this in a very clear way to say my beloved parents it's important for you to be open to that which is permissible that might come from your children culture might say how dare you that's not it then we have another problem because of someone's complexion because of someone's race because of someone some issue we might have had some generations back people just say no i'm not interested do you have a proper reason or is it just because this person is dark in complexion it is happening it's a reality as much as we're living in society that's supposed to have gone beyond that to this day it is occurring it is happening but my beloved father think about it what would you like for your child if you were to drop dead today what would you like for your child? Wouldn't you like someone who would honor them, who would respect them, who would take care of them, who would resolve arising matters if they have arisen? If that is the case, here you've got a responsible person. They might not be the richest on earth, but they are responsible. They have decent character and conduct and they have a connection with their maker. They have a connection with their maker. The Prophet, peace be upon him, says, إِذَا أَتَاكُمْ مَنْ تَرْضَوْنَ دِينَهُ وَخُلُوقَهُ فَزَوِّجُوهُ إِلَّا تَفْعَلُوهُ تَكُنْ فِتْنَةٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَفَسَادٌ عَرِيضٌ If someone comes to you with a proposal to marry your child, and their level of connection with the Almighty is satisfactory, and their level of character and conduct is satisfactory, then let it be for as long as your child wants it as well. Let it be the same narration and hadith says, if you do not let it be, then chaos and corruption will become rife on earth. As a result, you start suffering in your own family. You don't talk to one another simply because you were stubborn. That's what it is. You were what? Stubborn. That's the word. May Allah Almighty protect us. Difficult words I've uttered tonight because I know there are people still old school. My beloved parents, we prefer something. We like something. It would be ideal if it was done in this particular way. I know I'm a parent of many children. Some are married, some are not. So we all have a concern. We all have an ideal that inshallah we will do this. I hope that this happens for my child and that happens. But as the life of this child progresses, you don't know what the Almighty has written for the child. Some things might happen that were not your ideal. They might turn out to be better than what you thought was ideal. Or it might be an error, a mistake. I know of a case where there was a child who fought with their parents to get married to someone. And after some time, the father gave in and he said, look, as much as I know this, you are making a mistake, but here goes, we'll let it be. A few years later, the same child went through a very bad divorce. The father did not come and say, you see, I told you, I had known it. You know, this is what I was saying. You guys don't learn. You guys, what are you doing? Salt on the wound. That's what you're doing. Rubbing salt. The father says, my child, I love you. And I had a feeling that a day would come when you would realize that I was right. But I want to tell you, you were not wrong. You had to learn through this learning curve that you've just learned from. Come back. Don't worry. This house is yours too. Wow. What a parent. What a parent. We take a page from such people who welcome their children when something goes wrong in their lives.